What's up, YouTube? It's Zabdos Tish here, and I'm afraid I have terrible news. I think I'm gonna close my YouTube channel because I don't have the time for it anymore, and I, yeah, I just don't see the need of having a channel where I don't upload anything, so I just uh, think of, uh, yeah, just leaving the Pokemon community. So, uh, yeah. Psych, I just got you there, man. I'm back for more. <laughs> As you see, I'm back, I'm alive and I'm kicking. So uh, yeah, uh, it's been a while since I uploaded a video because life is just busy and uh, yeah, I'm not like one of those people that upload some useless content onto the internet just because I uh, don't have the time to make proper videos. I just wait until I have time to make proper videos like this one actually. Uh, as you see, I'm wearing my favorite shirt uh, saying Zapdos uh, One of my friends designed this for me. So. Yeah, that's uh, some side information. I don't think you uh, people saw that t-shirt already, but anyway, uh, what did I miss uh, the couple of months that I was gone? So uh, the ECC actually is uh, something that I missed. I uh, went last year, I became 11th at that tournament. It's one of the biggest tournaments through the year in Europe. So uh, yeah, this year it was held again and uh, Igor Costa, the world championship uh, person, or actually the world champ from uh, 2012, actually won the tournament using a Mewtwo Buffaland electric deck. So. Yeah, that's quite surprising and uh, there were lots of Blastoise Caldeo decks conquering the tournament. Even one Garchomp Altaria deck which was uh, <laughs> entertaining and uh, yeah, some other decks. Garbodor is becoming big in the format thanks to all the abilities that uh, yeah are being played. So Caldeo's ability gets blocked, uh, Blastoise's ability get, gets blocked, so Ho-Ho's ability, uh, Electrix, everyone's ability gets blocked straight away. So that's why Garbodor is big in the scene right now and uh, yeah. Uh, let's see what else this is new in the Pokemon community. Uh, also, Plasma Storm was uh, the set that has been released. Uh, yeah, it's been out for a couple of uh, yeah, it's a lots of weeks actually. I uh, didn't have the time to buy a booster box. I'm actually quite broke at the moment, so uh, yeah. Uh, hopefully, I can get back into the scene with the the newest set. Actually, there's a new set coming our way, and it will be called. Where did I uh, save that information? Oh yeah, here. Plasma Freeze, the update to the Plasma Storm set, and uh, yeah, it'll be uh, released or next set, uh, probably around May or something like that. Um, let's see. It'll contain cards from Spiral Force and Thunder Knuckles, so probably Deoxys EX, Thunder EX, and the good stuff like that. So we'll be getting that soon. You can see some pictures uh, uh, right around my head or uh, just on uh, Poke Beach because that's where I get my information, uh, by the way. Uh, what else did I miss? Uh, some uh, shiny collection. This is uh, a set that's only Japanese, and uh, yeah, all the cards have so uh, like a, a glitter on the cards that is actually really entertaining to have. Uh, they also have uh, come with a unique full art, like for uh, Mew EX and uh, Meloda EX and some other crazy uh, Pokemon like Shaman EX. You have a, a different uh, version of that card, even an Emolga, a regular basic Pokemon gets a full art version. So it's quite neat to have that. I uh, suggest you buy uh, one of those shiny collection cards. Uh, what else? Uh, Plasma Storm Blister Packs, uh, the promos that are Ninetales and Afros. For those of you that don't know already, you can go to the store, get yourself a blister and uh, some booster packs at the same time. Uh, yeah, with uh, the promos that I mentioned. Also, Drift Blim and Jigglypuff uh, are promos. And uh, the good thing about these promos is that I like the holographic pattern. It's the one that they used before uh, the black and white era. That's why I really like the hollows. It resembles like the old school style like with bubbles on them and uh, if they sparkle uh, a bit better than the, the new ones actually. Then we have uh, the next set of the Japanese, uh, Megalo uh, something. <laughs> we have Genesect EX that'll uh, come out and uh, yeah, Megalo Cannon set probably and uh, it's a grass type and EX. It is uh, yeah, quite good. When <laughs> yeah, sorry for that. We have a uh, 170 HP on the Genesect EX. It has the ability Red Signal when you attach a Plasma Energy to this Pokemon. You may uh, switch your opponent's active Pokemon with one of her, his or her badge Pokemon. So actually, a catcher wants you uh, attach that plasma energy to your Genesect, so quite good. I uh, can destroy um, Caldeo EX decks because it can deal 100 damage for 2 grass and a colorless energy. And uh, 22 one of your opponent's badge Pokemon, so it resembles Darkrai EX quite a bit. And uh, yeah, I think it's quite good. Uh, just let me know what your opinion is on uh, that card. 
Uh, then we have a new Pokemon from uh, Generation 6 and we have, yeah, a new evolution. It'll be called Sylveon and uh, yeah. Let's see here. Uh, there's not much information available, but uh, yeah. As known as that, it'll be Eevee's last evolution. So uh, that's the last evolution Eevee will ever get. So uh, And Pokemon X and Y will be available. Sylveon. I don't know which type it is, but yeah, if you guys know it, just put it in the comment section. It's just something I like to share with everyone. Some Poke News and here and there. Uh, also, at the end of the episode, I'll uh, ask you some questions that uh, you can actually uh, help me to make some good quality videos. So uh, stay tuned for that and uh, let's see here. Uh, Megalocannon, the, the 9 the black and white side in Japan, also gets uh, Kyurem EX, <laughs> that uh, looks really epic, and a new Blastoise EX. So uh, actually it's the Blastoise with the ability, so uh, it'll be uh, <laughs> neat to uh, have another version because it looks really, really epic. Uh, then there's an Electra, a Porygon Z, and uh, yeah, that will be uh, featured in a, a team deck actually from uh, the, the latest set. The Japanese people always get that uh, expensive EX or something in the team decks, which is uh, something I'm quite jealous of. And uh, yeah, as I said, Megalocannon will be released somewhere uh, yeah, soon and uh, it'll have all uh, sorts of new cards like Master Ball as an ace pack card and other stuff. But I will mention that once they have an English release because uh, or when the set is finally uh, completely watchable on Poke Beach, that's uh, one of the things I can do. I can just make a full review if you guys like that. I've done that with Spiral. Fours and uh, whatever the hell it was, uh, Thunder Knuckle, yeah. So uh, I believe that's it. There's just one more thing left. Uh, yeah, for English news, we have the tin promos, as I mentioned uh, a couple of episodes before. Actually, we have Caldeo EX, Black Hero EX, and White Hero EX. They'll be available as a tin promo. So Caldeo EX, the price will go down straight to the bottom because just like with Dark Ray EX and the Mewtwo EX, they make, uh, yeah, the, um, let's say the. 10 versions of them and everyone can get them quite cheap so uh, competitive players just buy the tin they don't have to buy like uh, yeah or spend 50 bucks on a Caldeo that's not necessary anymore uh, the card that will uh, get uh, raised in value will be Terrakion EX I believe and just one more Landry's EX yeah because uh, with Genesex EX uh, rival, uh, the Caldeo EX decks will go, uh, yeah, will be afraid of the, yeah, because they have grass weakness, and that's why uh, in the future Landris EX and Terrakion will become better. So get your hands on those. That's something I mentioned. And then we have uh, the three legendary Pokemon Virizion, Terrakion, and Cobalion, uh, with the abilities that each of these Pokemon does 50 more damage to a Darkness Pokemon. So uh, Dark EX is in a bit of trouble as well. And uh, yeah, they look pretty good. 100 HP for Virizion, 130 HP for Trakion, and 120 HP for Cobalion. They have uh, some neat attacks, and they are big basics, so people will definitely use them. Also, a deck that is do doing really great is uh, the Clink Clang uh, Cobalion deck that uh, can be hit by EX Pokemon because they're metal, thanks to the ability of the new Clink Clang. So, uh, also the Elite Box is available, where you can get some boosters from the Plasma Storm set, and some dice, and uh, yeah, some energy cards and stuff like that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little news break and uh, yeah, I just want to ask you people one more thing or actually three more things or something. Uh, I want to know, uh, I'm going to have a new section on my channel and that's be called uh, Pokemon Raps. Just a simple rap uh, yeah, uh, music track that I'll be posting somewhere on my channel. Like uh, just basic tracks that will uh, last like three minutes. You can give me some information or a subject. It doesn't matter uh, if it's like uh, Vermilion City or something, just uh, say something like I want you to rap about, let's say, uh, N. For example, the mysterious guy in black and white, I want you to rap about him. Then I'll do that with uh, the most requested subject. And also, uh, what uh, subject do you want as card analysis? Uh, which deck do you prefer? And I uh, review for you guys, that's something uh, else. And uh, then I'll just have one more thing to say. Uh, thank you all to my subscribers to uh, this uh, keep sub uh, I can't talk anymore to uh, be uh, still subscribed to my channel because uh, I know it's been a while since I uploaded a video and it's uh, quite frustrating then if you wait for videos and they don't show up I'm uh, sorry for that but I don't have all the time in the world if I had then I'll just uh, post videos every day but I don't and uh, yeah I believe that's it uh, uh, stay fresh you guys and I'll see you all in the next exciting video peace